my creepy crafters and welcome back mm, now I'm going to be entirely transparent with you <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorite crafts why it's simply spectacular <laughs> let's begin make sure you get the materials listed below in the description for today's activity we are going to start by cutting down our milk jug First, get a pair of sharp scissors. Using the point of the scissors, poke a hole. Then, insert the scissors into that hole and cut all the way around the jug. Set the handle part of the jug aside for another craft or for recycling. Now you'll need your hole punch. Using the hole punch, make holes along the cut edge of the milk jug bottom. Wait, wait, wait. What's a phantom's favorite theme park ride? A roller coaster! <laughs> oh my. For this next part, you'll need some long strips of white material. You can use strips of fabric or ribbon or even string. Try to use things that are light and flowy. Cut the yarn or fabric into lengths about a meter long. Make sure you have at least one length of yarn for each hole in the milk jug. Taking each length of yarn one at a time, fold the yarn in half. Poke the folded end through a hole on the milk jug from the outside to the inside. Pull the folded strips about three to five centimeters past the hole and make a loop. Then, pull both of the loose ends of the yarn up through the loop. Pull the ends tight to close up the loop and make a little knot at the edge of the milk jug. Repeat this knot until all of the holes have been filled in with the strips. That's the spirit! Now it's time to give our ghost a face! A dark felt marker works best, but get creative. Give your specter a frightening face that really says boo! Finally, we are going to need one more piece of string. Make sure you tie a big knot on one end of the string first. Using either a darning needle or a pair of sharp scissors, puncture the top of your ghost and bring the string through. Tie that string into a loop so it's easy to hang your ghost later. For an extra supernatural touch, you can get some glitter glue and paint your ghost with a fun ethereal sparkle. Hang your ghastly ghosts outside and watch them blow in the wind. If you like, you can put a battery-operated LED light or even glow sticks inside your ghosts to give them an eerie glow at night. There you have it! Now your spooky specters will haunt your house and delight your friends and family. Don't forget to post photos of your creepy creation online with the hashtag FrightfulFun2020 for a chance to win an assortment of ghoulish goodies. Absolutely beautiful work, everyone! Hmm, that's it for today, but we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Farewell and happy haunting! <laughs> <laughs>